Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Melissa Estavillo. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist and owner of Biltmore Psychology and Counseling. So today we've been talking a lot about family therapies, some very typical kinds of questions that people have. And so we wanted to touch base on this bigger question of what should I expect at my very first family therapy session? So very normal for people to feel a little bit intimidated, not know what exactly to expect and to just want to get kind of a sense of what am I in for? What is this gonna be like? Um, so we wanted to be able to shoot this video to be able to give you some of that information before or maybe you take that step into family counseling. So therapies can sometimes do this in different ways, but most often what I see and what we do at, at Biltmore is that um, we will see the whole family together for the first session. So again, sometimes we will divide it up and see you know, um, a child first and then parents later. That is a way to go about it, but I, I think there's a lot of benefit for the whole family to be able to get together and talk about each of their perspectives that they have on some of the distress, the hardship, and some of the things that they're going through. Um, I think it's important to know too that a family therapist, their role is not to be a referee. It's not to say, hey, teenager, your perspective is wrong, your parents' perspective is right, and we're gonna shut down any sort of you know, um, idea that, that your views are, or your concerns have any value. It's not that at all. The therapist is really there to try to help create a healthy environment where everyone can talk about what they're feeling, what they're expressing, and what I found is that in a safe environment, families come up with far more creative things than any therapist could ever guess or dream up, and they fit so perfectly for the family. So our job is really, again, to heal some of the historical distress, some of the patterns that have led to dysfunctional behavior so that every person can feel heard, understood, and valued within the family. Um, so it's important, again, in the very first session I say, what you should be expecting is that the therapist should be able to identify the problem being able to say, yep, it does sound like you guys have a lot of communication difficulty, or yeah, it sounds like you guys are fighting, but gosh, it, for me, it really feels like it's about this theme of feeling totally disrespected. So being able to say, here's some of my ideas, here's some of my thoughts about what the problem is, and how that really resonate for the whole family and say, yep, that's the thing, that that's what we're struggling with right now. Um, a second thing is they should be providing insight and empathy. So for there to be good fit, Every person needs to really feel like this person gets it, like they understand what's going on. Gosh, they're highlighting things that I didn't see that was in my blind spot. I didn't always see that. And they were really empathizing with my perspective, my frustration, my pain, my sadness, my, my annoyance, that they have the capacity to empathize with everybody there in the room and equally have every person feel like they're on their side because they're on the side of the family. Um, a third thing, I think it's important for people to feel like they're walking away with some bit of education. You know, is this normal? Yes or no? Are these things that a lot of families go through? What is the normal path that a lot of people take? What are the creative paths that a lot of people take? And that insight and information can be so powerful for people to feel um, like, again, so often the experiences are normal and lots of people struggle with that, but that's important for you to be able to know as a family. And lastly, and probably most importantly, at the end of that first session, the family should walk away with a plan that they feel like is complete and formulated. So some of the very specific details of how that's gonna be played out, obviously is gonna be developed over time. Um, but in that first session, there should be a sense of these are our four goals. And these are likely the ways that we're gonna be able to meet those four goals. And this is maybe the general time frame that it tends to take to be able to do that. And then what are some of the things that tend to follow up after we complete some of these things? Um, but it's hard if it feels like, gosh, I just shared a lot of information. I did feel understood, but I walked away from the first session and I didn't have a plan for what's going on for me. That might indicate that there's not a perfect fit. Um, Cause I think that this, it's very important for people to feel like they're bought in and they're gonna come back the next time and continue to move forward. So again, at the end of the day, you should check the box. It should feel like your therapist gets it. They understand what's going on. They get you, they get the problem, and they're on everyone's side. Um, they should have a plan to be able to fix it. And personality-wise, you should feel like their energy really drives with you. If you have someone that's you know really kind of energetic and bubbly, kind of like me, but that doesn't fit you, that's totally okay. And know that you're gonna be spending, you know, some time with that therapist. And so if that doesn't fit, then that's important for you to be able to identify finding that person that's really comfortable. And so again, if you're looking for someone that jives with your personality, it might be different for everyone within the family, so that might be something that everyone has to navigate through and talk about, but know that there is the right person out there for the family. And that with that, 
the family can go so far and so much can be accomplished. So hopefully that gave you just a little bit of a taste of what a first session could look like. Hopefully it brought down some of the intimidation factor. I know that people come in sometimes nervous, but by the end they really feel like, oh, I'm so glad that I did this. This was the right move. This was the right direction. Um, and they have some hope again. So if you have any specific questions about the first counseling session, leave those in the comments below and I'm happy to be able to answer some of those for you. If you have some general questions about family counseling that we didn't touch on today, I'm also happy to answer some of those in future videos and you can always like and subscribe for future content from us. So again, like I've been saying about family therapy, family distress can be rough and can be totally intimidating and overwhelming and really rob us of a lot of our happiness. but families can heal and we can come to that place where we're working and we're at our best and know that there's a lot of hope and joy in that. Um, so thank you so much for listening to this.